again with what you were asking of us? So what we're trying to do is uh, what we ask of you guys is that we want to get a demonstration done. So we want to host a national tournament. Um, we want Las Vegas to be one of the markets that participate in the national tournament. So the first part of that participation is getting a demonstration esports um, tournament set up. And again, very small, 10 to 15 students, typically last about two hours. So there have been different styles of tournaments, uh, of demonstrations that we've done. Uh, if you look in Dallas, Ross did an excellent job in connecting us and leading us um, with Exposure, which is a huge gaming. Um, they, they, they're kind of do everything. They have a huge uh, esports arena, so we we transported the students from their community to the esports arena, and it was all top notch, right? And if you look at the one that we did in Atlanta, it was just hey, we came into a boys and girls club in our Target, and we just used the equipment that they had there. We just hosted it, right? So there's a lot of different ways to do it. What we want to come away from this meeting is um, a place that we can host a, a demonstration a date that we can host a demonstration. And then we're looking at some of our partners, right? So if you say, uh, Mr. Jelani, and I hope I'm saying that, that correctly. Um, yes. If you're, if you're involved in, in esports and hosting these uh, tournaments, then we want you to manage game flow, right? And for the demonstration, it is very, very simple. We pick two games. Um, everything is disc. Uh, we'll bring out the PlayStations. We'll set up the bracket through things like tournament. Um, we'll probably set up that one for pre-registration, another one for walk-ins. Um, and the kids just game, right? We may have one or two workshops that are going on just to kind of keep them occupied and keep them learning. And um, like I said, the two-hour event, hand out awards after, get student surveys, and then after that, that that's pretty much it. So we want to get- And that tournament, and that, sorry, sorry to cut you off. And that tournament that uh, you're speaking about, I know you said it started on which day again? March. So that's the that's the national tournament. So the national tournament we're going to kick off in in March, right? And that's just okay. the start of it. So it'll go from March all the way to July. So what we're trying to do now is get the demonstrations tournaments scheduled. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, I believe we definitely could partner with facilitating a location uh, or partnering with you to host that location um, for that amount of kids. Yeah, I, I believe we can be that that for you. Okay, excellent, excellent. Did you have a, a location in mind? Um, that's, we'll, yeah, go ahead, Larry. We'll, we'll figure it out between Catherine and, and myself. Okay. We'll take it. And, and keep in mind this location that, that we pick um, we'll do it for the demonstration, and then we will also um, want to be able to use it for the, the national tournament and come back to do any workshops as well for the communities. Yep. Cool, cool. So okay. I, I wasn't clear on the date for the demonstration tournament. We we haven't said it yet. That was going to be yeah. one of the things that we're asking right now. So is it, that does that need to happen before March 3rd? It does. Uh, preferably, Yes. Yes. Now, remember that the beginning of the tournament is March 3rd. So we will have some markets that will start right at the beginning. We have some markets that may not start until April. Long as we get to, we're moving along till we get our, our state winner from each state in before July, we're good. Correct. Right. So the, so the still... local tournament, you, so the national tournament is four tiers. That first tier, uh, we're, we're given about eight weeks worth the time for uh, the local tournaments to, uh, to to conduct and and get all the, the winners that are going to move on to the regional. So you'll have time to be able to, in the early part of March, to do the demonstration uh, if need be, mm -hmm. and then move straight into uh, the actual tournament. Okay. Yeah. Um, can, I, I want to say, the guys are going to be in town uh, from the 22nd to the 26th of February. Does any of that work for you? 22nd through the 26th. Yeah. Preferably, I'm talking more mostly the 22nd or 24th. Of February? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Um, I mean, that's just an option. I mean, if that's too soon, then I'm pretty sure we can work out something else. Okay, okay. And I'm glad you gave me a range. So if if I could kind of pin that for a second and then be able to get back with you. Oh, that's fine. We want to make okay. sure our team is here. We want to make sure that we have everything in place. And I'll, I'll share my screen really quickly um, of how we kind of are tracking things. So can you guys see my screen? All right, so these are all of the markets that we are either have been in and have done our demos or we'll be doing it very quickly. So the things that I'm looking for in terms of the structure of how this thing will go is just to get the, the date and the time. Um, and that's usually a collaboration with our STEAM uh, supporters and our STEAM pioneers um, to get the role. So we need an overall management role that typically falls on STEAMnet. A student engagement and marketing and promotion role. So we're going to ask uh, the housing authority if you guys could help us out with that. And I'll I'll quickly show you guys how we do registration and show you guys an example of, of some of our flyers. Um, so student engagement, student registration, game flow, and then uh, other thing is just the location, the equipment that's needed. So we'll ask you guys, hey, as a as an assessment where we're going into, do you guys have PlayStations or do you need us to bring those out? Do you guys have monitors? Do you guys have discs? Um, so we'll assess all of those things so we can figure out what needs to be brought and then what's already there. And William, um, if I could interject something, um, I was going to ask um, Mr. Jelani, uh, since he's already working with the esports um, arena, if you had the PlayStations uh, available for the demonstration and the tournament. Sorry, I have really bad service. It, it cut out. I didn't hear that question. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, I was just trying to see if if you had the PlayStations already there or Xbox consoles that we could use where, you know, we wouldn't have to either ship ours down or or, or bring them. Uh, no, we, uh, Larry, am I supposed to, let me know how in-depth I'm supposed to go. Um, we, uh, we know. In short form, no, we don't have the uh, uh, the consoles as of right now. Okay. okay, okay, all right, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, so no we, we always just assess where we're going. Um, you know, when we were out in LA, they had a full, a brand new uh, computer lab area where they had you know consoles, and I think a lot of that stuff was sponsored by uh, by the Kardashians, believe it or not. So, um, you know, we, we we don't assume anything. We always just take into account, you know, what, what we had and what's there. Because who, who will ever know. Um, other part that we'll talk about is are going to be, we always like to give students awards. Um, so take, for instance, we, we were in Atlanta, the, the Atlanta Housing Authority awarded the student winners um, fire tablets. When we were in Dallas, uh, East Bossier, who was our partner, gave students like headsets, um, and then I think um, mouse pads, and then in LA, the housing authority just gave the students uh, gift certificates. So, uh, from a from a housing authority standpoint, is there any way that we can uh, get you guys to help us out in terms of awards? Um, that's something we'll have to table. I mean, this okay. it's, a, it's a brand new conversation, but we can okay. that's a we can discuss that. I'll I'll, I'll make a note and. Get, get an answer for you. Okay. Okay. So I, I'll make sure I come back. And then the, the last thing is that uh, the uh, student meal. So we'll typically have an 11 to 1 ish type time. It kind of depends on you guys' schedule. You'll let us know what's the best time to, to have it. Uh, so we'll, you know, kind of do this introduction, do gameplay workshops. We break. Uh, we've served the students pizza. The, the point of the break is to have them to complete a student survey. For us. And that way, what it does is gives us baseline data on things like, um, does your school have a STEM program? You know, those type of questions. So when we're putting these chapters 
and each market is a chapter in this book that we're creating so that we can send it to um, HUD and, and Department of Education, Department of Transportation. We can say things like, hey, only 10% of the students that we um, that did this demonstration had a STEM program inside of their school, right? So that we can make the case for expanded funding, more resources that we can get, that we can put into this project. Now, now how, how, how in, in terms of this, the uh, the arts component, uh, I, I, I keep hearing STEM and then mm -hmm. this is a STEAM program, correct? It's a STEAM program, correct. Okay. So the okay. A for us looks like graphic design. It looks like media production. It yes. looks like things around fashion as it relates to technology. Um, the room that I'm sitting in now, uh, we have like four or five silhouettes. Um, we have the crickets. So the students are always designing things. Uh, we even started ordering the, the soles and the rubber and some of the leather and um, and what you call the, the stitch stuff. So the students are starting to create their own shoes and being able to put their logos on their own shoes. And so, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that that we can do inside of the A. So just, yeah. re just remember now, the, it's to build interest, but our STEAM pioneers won't just come from what they would call like the hard sciences, like coding, robotics. We're looking for a diverse amount of STEAM pioneers that can cover all of these different STEAM, STEM related areas. So that if a student is interested in robotics, they may do that for a 10 week course. And then they can say, okay, well now I wanna try fashion technology. And then we're able to connect them with the with a STEAM pioneer that teaches fashion technology. Um, the next question is: Is the template set already? Meaning, is is there room to customize uh, a, a program uh, like this? And if we want it, there's some other things we want to do. Is it? Is it matter? Mm -hmm. How flexible is it? In terms of the tournament or just the overall program? The overall. Is, um, is there, is there, or, it's room that that's what the the workshops are for mm -hmm. and so when you look at the tournament you know we, we've kind of set the, the the games and the and the flow and so you know of course that the help with the management and the brackets um you know that's one thing that that we're working through but when you as a stem pioneer is looking to implement uh, a program we do it in the form of a workshop and so where you have the leadership from the, the HUD assisted community will uh, be at the, the, the tournaments, the demonstrations, that is, that's a chance for them to um, see the different program offerings that we have, whether it be robotics, drones or whatever, so that they can take that back to their communities and say, yes, we want this for the kids. Then we'll set something up to where, depending on how long your program is, Right, whether it's you know two weeks or five months, uh, we'll be able to set up you know a workshop that's 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 tailored toward them, right? But with the goal in mind that all of our workshops are workforce development focused in STEM or STEAM. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's, it's interesting because I I work in a uh, middle school which is a uh, STEAM. And then I worked in a another school in Connecticut, which is just just STEM itself. So when I hear, I go back and forth. But thank you for the, thank you for that answer. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and STEAM is the A is STEAM is is integrated all over STEM, right? All over STEM. Yeah. So you know whether you're looking for you know graphics to beautify, you know your infographics or presentation stuff. It, it's that art that makes it aesthetically pleasing, yeah. and the way that you can use technology to create art. You know, we were having, you know, typically like with the fashion program, you had, to, had the uh, students to sketch on the sketch pad. Now, you know, we're on iPads now and they're taking those impressionable models, being able to 3D them so that they can see a dress that they've made from the front, be able to, to, to turn it to the side, you know, and all those things and even 3D print it down so they can begin to see what it looks like. So there's a lot of different avenues that we want to explore. So if you guys... If you guys look in the chat, for those that may not have been on the first time, um, if you click on that link for me, uh, please fill that form out. That is the only way past me 